guys, this is Demon Rants, and today, um, sorry for the slow uploads, you know, if you like watching my stuff, but we are coming to the end of the Tekken retrospective. Well, actually we're not, because after this I will re will be reviewing the original trilogy, you know, um, what I mean is Tekken 1, 2 and 3, you know, the original PlayStation trilogy, I will be reviewing them ones, but... We're coming to the end of the new games, but when Tekken 7 comes out, and, you know, when I buy it, I, I will review that one as well. But yeah, um, also a little thing update here, um, my friend's channel, JJ Geek, I did a video with him, like a, you know, a little co collaboration video. It's a two-parter, and it should be uploaded by the weekend, so just search him up, and you should be able to find it by by then. Because he's still editing it. So, uh, yeah. So today, uh, we are reviewing... Uh, it came out in 2012. 2012. It's the most recent game in the series. And this is Tekken Tag Tournament 2. My god, guys. It's been... I don't even know how many years. Over 10 years. I can't remember. I, You know, you do the math. But yeah, it's been like over 10 years since the last Tekken game came out. No, Tekken Tag Tournament game came out, you know, that was back in 2000, this is 2012, oh yeah, 12 years, so yeah, a 12 year time gap from when they came out, so yeah, and the first thing that I've got to say is, the first th question that you're wondering is, do I think this is better than Tekken 6? Yes, and I'm going to get to now, so usually I first talk about the story, but this is another non-canon game, since it's the Tag Tournament series. Now the Tag Tournament series does have a, a loose plot line, it's very, very loose, but you know, they're uncanon to the rest of the series, but in a way, they have their own little story, but I don't think there's much to be told here. So yeah, and um, I'm going to show you on the back here. We've got Jim Patchy, we're going to get to him later. We've got Lily, yeah, my favourite character. Nope. But yeah, that's the back of it. But this game actually has the largest roster in the series. Like, just, I think it's 59 characters, so just under 60 playable characters. Literally everybody's here. I think the only missing ones are gone from Tekken 3, because, you know, Namco doesn't own the license to that character anymore, because he's from a manga. Azazel and, Azazel and Nancy from Tekken 6, because they would be way too big and way too cheap to be able to play as. I think you can get them on PSP hacks, but whatever. And, uh... Tetsujin, I guess, but he's exactly the same as Mokujin, and you can colour him, you know, differently, you can give him different colours, but anyway, yeah, almost everybody is in this game, and yeah, this is really good, but it, it still has some problems, and we're going to get to them, but first I'm just going to talk about the things that I missed in the last review, if anybody really cares, I didn't talk about, I talked about the graphics and the gameplay of Tekken 6, but I didn't get onto the soundtrack or the stages. Now I'm just going to talk about Tekken 6's bits right there. The soundtrack was very forgettable, I will have to say. There was only like one track in the whole of that game, Tekken 6, that was memorable. And that was Azazel's Chamber, just because of how large and, you know, grand it was. All of the other songs, you know, were pretty much just techno. Nothing, nothing even good, like Tekken 5 had a nice mixture of songs, but Tekken 6 is just mostly techno. I think there's some yeah, that's it really. So I didn't like it. The stages were, you know, the stages were actually pretty good. They did look a bit too oily, just like the characters' designs, you know, the models. They were a bit oily looking, but the stages were fine, even though they were a bit small. But I mainly, that was mainly a problem from Tekken 5, but people didn't like the large stages in 4, but, you know, Tekken 4, but whatever. So the stages were decent. Now we're going to go on to this game. This game does have some more tracks, some actually, some more music, you know, good songs in this one. I'm trying to think of some, but the, I can't think of many right now, guys, sorry. But yeah, again, this is mostly filled with techno dubstep stuff that I hate. Well, you know, I don't hate all techno, but dubstep, I just hate that kind of stuff. So, yeah, that's it's kind of the same type of soundtrack. In Tekken 6, as Tekken 6, sorry, 
But yeah, mostly because this is a tag tournament game, there are songs very reminiscent, you know, you know, sorry guys, not reminiscent, but there are songs that are remixes of uh, older songs in the series. We have, you know, the, um, what's it called? You know, the big arena music from Tekken 4, you know, where you hi fight high hatching in his nappy. Okay, a bit weird, but yeah, that's awesome music. But I don't, I don't like the remix of it. I like the original one better. Uh, you know, there's um, Moonlit Wilderness, which was brilliant in Tekken Five. That is, in this one, it's a bit too. Uh, actually, I don't mind it. Uh, and um, the, um, I think there's some songs from uh, remixed from Tekken Tag Tournament One. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of soundtracks in this game. But guess what? They added something amazing here. Harada says that he hates DLC, so, you know, costumes and stuff, we're going to get to them later, you know, he does not want to make them DLC, and he just doesn't like it, but the thing is, you can actually buy Tekken Tunes, which means, now there's a Tekken Tunes mode in this game, where you can add your own soundtrack, you know, from your PS3 or Xbox 360 or whatever, you know, you can add your own music, but you can also buy, um, if you if you want to, you know, all of the soundtracks from the previous games. Right now, I have I have, I bought the Tekken 4 soundtrack because it's my favourite one, and I put all the Tekken 4 songs on all of the stages, and I must say it's, it's much better, and I might be getting the Tekken 5 soundtrack pack as well. But yeah, Tekken Tunes has been added, so we can listen to the old songs. Uh, what else? What else? I'm trying to think. Um... Sorry guys, so other than, uh, there isn't really a story mode, like an arcade mode, there is a boss in this and that's Unknown. Now Unknown was in the last game, she was awesome, she's pretty much an evil version of June, Jun Kazama, she's back by the way. Um, yeah, so you just fight Unknown again, she, isn't, she doesn't really use mimic moves anymore like she did in Tag Tournament 1. But she's decent, you know, She she's actually a pretty fun fight. Much better than the cheapness of Jim Patchy and his arsenal. By the way, guys, Jim Patchy has been massively, you know, debugged. He's like a normal character in this game. But yeah, also you might want to, you might have noticed, um, hey, Hachi, there's a bit of, there's only a little bit of story in this. Uh, you know, Jun doesn't have the wolf on her back on her back because she killed it in her ending in the first tag tournament but yeah in this game hi hachi you know this this is tekken nowadays it's so silly and dumb but yeah hi hachi drinks a potion and it's kind of some kind of youth potion so he becomes young again so he looks like himself in tekken 2 with the black hair except that he doesn't have the balding spot he even he even had that in tekken 2 but he doesn't here but yeah that's the semi storyline uh, that's about it, really, in terms of story. What other modes are there? There's, you, you know, all your standard modes. My favourite was Ghost Battle, personally, because that's where you unlock all your unlockable items, which I'll get to later. Uh, there's Combot. What's it called? I'm trying to think of the... It's like Fight Lab, that's it. And I hate Fight Lab, I'm going to tell you. I really don't like this mode. Well... And, but I don't hate it as much as Scenario Campaign because it's not like they're forcing you to play it. It's really just kind of a tutorial with a bunch of silly stuff going on. And you play as Combat from Tekken 4. And, you know, Violet, Lee Chang Lan, you know, gives you all the um, tutorials and stuff like that. I only made it to level 3 because I kind of got stuck on it and never played it again. But yeah, so you can probably, apparently when you finish it you can buy moves for Combat, but I never finished it. Anyway, um, we'll talk about the customization. The customization is uh, a lot of people complained about it because, it, to be honest, it is far better in Tekken 6, but there's a big problem. You have to play the scenario campaign to unlock the items. So, basically, I gave up on the scenario campaign. I, I didn't want to play any more of it. But, uh, yeah, apparently, once you do, do get all the items, it, it's really good customization. And people were let down in this one, but I don't care. Just as long as they give you everything up front, then I'm okay. And obviously you have to get money from playing the single player and online matches. You unlock money, so you have to buy the costumes. But people complain, you know, there's only like upper half, upper jackets and stuff like that, and pants, you know, bottom half, and only hats and glasses. There isn't as much... You know, I think in Tekken 6 you could do undercoats and shoes, you know, gloves, you know, separate things and all that. But I don't care. 
Because at least they give you everything up front. Well, except for maybe play Ghost Battle, you can unlock lucky boxes, which give you the um, costumes inside of them for all the characters. So yeah, I've unlocked them. I played a couple hours in Ghost, you know, Ghost Battle. Played a couple hours of them. Um, yeah, let's talk about the gameplay. The gameplay is exactly the same as Tekken 6. Juggling is absolutely insane. I'm not even joking. Juggling is actually pretty cheap in this game. It, it, it's bugged at times. Don't worry, I'm not going to do a DSP here. Oh, it's bugged. It's crap. And all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's really cheap, the, the juggling. And now, um, there is obviously the... Uh, tag feature, obviously, it's the same as in the first game, you know, you press R1 or L1 or whatever it is, LB, RB, you know, and you can switch your characters, you, and yeah, and it is really quick, really responsive, you know, we've got some fast gameplay here, um, now we've got, now because of the uh, bound moves that were added in Tekken 6, you know, you can smash your opponent into the ground and then juggle them. Well, now you can do that while tagging, and it does like a sort of mode where your enemy gets suspended in air, and you can like fight him with two people, him or her, sorry, you know, fight them with two people at the same time. But yeah, some new little gameplay mechanics, not much here. I think there's environments, but you know, you can break environments, like you know, you can fall through a wall and then go into an extra area. Kind of reminds me of the Dead or Alive games in that aspect. But yeah, you know, you can fall into new areas, and it, it's all right. The stages, uh, let's talk about the stages. Uh, also, I forgot that the um, the snow castle music was really nice as well. You know, I've got the snow castle, that weird Christmas level, which is f kind of funny. But um, the thing is, I just want to say, the endings, um, before you get to the stages, the endings in this game are still short and still cartoony, but you know why I'm not mad? Because the game is non-canon, so it has an excuse to be comedic. Tekken 6 is a story-related game, so we should get stories from these characters. But this one, it's fine with me, since it's not canon-related. They can do whatever stupid stuff they want. And there are funny endings in this one, guys. I'm going to say Paul and Paul's ending when he thinks the bear is Kuma, and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, let's go on to the stages. We have uh, some nice stages. Tekken 6 had the dojo and the dungeon. Dungeon? What the hell? Uh, jungle, sorry, which is a smaller version of the Tekken 4 one, and all these kind of stages. This one has the Snow Castle, the Snoop, like the Christmas stage, obviously. The Snoop Dogg stage, I'm not even joking, Snoop Dogg did a song, you know, a promotional song for this game. He goes, play him and knock him down, fist like Tekken. I'm not even joking, Snoop Dogg fans, just check that out, fist like Tekken. Awesome song. But yeah, Snoop Dogg is in this game. He sits on the background in a throne. Seriously, though, that is so bad it's good. Um, you know, you get, you know, um, the uh, Moonlit Wilderness. Instead of being outside, you're actually inside of the background castle. Um, you know, the big arena, There's a, it's a lot more brighter than it was in Tekken 4. Uh, you know, there's the tulip fields. All kinds of crazy stages. Also, in Tekken 6, there was a stage similar to the one in 5, where instead of being surrounded by penguins, you're surrounded by pigs and sheep. So, yeah. Um, there isn't much to say, guys. I guess I can talk about the most prominent thing in this game, is the online mode. You know, the online is really good in this game. You know, Tekken 6 still gets a lot of players, but I think this one gets the most players, but... There are some connection problems at times, and wow, people can really be cheap and competitive online, especially with the new tagging. Uh, by the way, my best combo is Bob and Kuma. They're my best tag team, actually, so far, online-wise, anyway. But yeah, it's just a really good game. It's like a greatest hits collection, almost, you know, second tunes. You know, you can rem reminisce about the old days. You know, the old days of Tekken, it's still a bit silly, and it's still got some problems with the gameplay, but it's far better than 6. I'd say it was an improvement anyway, in my eyes. So yeah, guys, uh, this is my this has been my review of Tekken Tag Tournament 2. I finally got this game on physical copy to show you guys. Um, ta Tekken 1 and 2 are downloaded on PSN, so I'll have to film the TV screen. And I have Tekken 3 with me. So I will review them, and then it's done. I'm going to make a playlist. So, um... Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed and goodbye.